it's time for love readings. You're going to get the most out of this love reading if you watch it for your moon sign. This video right here, if you haven't seen it, will tell you why. There's a link in the description box below so you can go right to that to find out why. Um, but regardless of whether you're watching this for your moon sign, which you should be, um, or, or not, whatever, um, I just wanna tell you what we are covering today. What do you need to let go of? Um, what what are you attracting this month in regards to love? What's out of your control? And then what act, what do you need to take action on? We're going to look at singles, couples, and then it's complicated situations. So that could be polyamorous. Maybe um, you're talking to each other, but it's not Facebook official yet. On again, off again, whatever that is. I'm going to do singles first, then couples, and then it's complicated last. The reason being because sometimes when it's complicated, pieces of the single reading and the couple's reading will resonate hard for you and you might wanna go and watch those pieces as well. Okay, um, I think I already said, but this reading is from now until June 15th. Um, and the reason why I go half month to half month is because I put out the general readings at the beginning of every month and then money readings um, also right after that. So let's get started. Oh, I'm using the Gilded Tarot deck today. If you're wondering what that's about, there is a link in the description box below if you want to purchase one. I don't sell them, but um, if you get it through the affiliate link, I might get like two or three cents from that and it doesn't cost you anything extra. So you're just helping a sister out to keep making these videos. Libra singles, what do you need to let go of? And they're saying, you need to let go of this attempt to try to protect yourself, to build walls up, okay? I forget which sign it was. Maybe it was Scorpio that also had this where, um, you know, a lot of times we try to protect ourselves from disappointment, right? So we might not get too excited about something, but that doesn't actually help us not feel disappointed when we don't get it. We just feel the disappointment from the time we decided not to get excited, you know, to the point where we're disappointed. Um, so why not feel excitement? Why not be open? Why put walls up, you know? Why be afraid to receive love and then it not work out? Whereas, I mean, at least you had it for a while. If it doesn't work out, nothing is guaranteed, okay? And so that's what they're saying. You need to let go of this idea that somehow you're protecting yourself and that's to your benefit. Because at the end of the day, whatever it is you're trying to protect yourself from, you're just inviting into your heart now, right? You're experiencing the disappointment, the sadness or the loneliness or whatever it is right now, okay? So you feel it for an extended amount of time. So. Um, also, from a law of attraction standpoint, it doesn't really help you, right? It helps you to attract more of what you're actually trying to prevent. So that's what you need to let go of. Um, what are you actually attracting right now? And they're saying, now, some of you are attracted, or at least you're making really good attempts to try to attract something different. You know, maybe you have a type, and so you're going to try to attract something outside of that. Or um, maybe you have a certain pattern in relationships. And so you're trying to attract something totally different. You're trying to see things from a different point of view. And I think that's really actually helping you this month um, if you're on that quest to meet the right person. What's outside of your control this month? And they're saying, you know, here's the thing. And I think maybe this is why they started with letting go of that idea of trying to protect yourself. What you can't control is that see, some people do mislead you some people do lie, okay? And I do think that that's in the air if you're out there trying to date, you know? Um, so you trying to protect yourself from extending trust or, you know, giving somebody the benefit of the doubt doesn't change the fact that they still are misleading or they're a liar or they're deceptive or they're a cheater. This card represents all of those things, unfortunately. So. You could come across somebody like that, right? But at the end of the day, you're gonna be okay. And so this month, if you don't meet somebody great, basically this is what they're saying. If you come into contact with somebody who's a liar, they're a cheater, they mislead you, um, they deceive you, you know, they betray you somehow that way. Maybe you have a one night stand and they steal all your shit. The point is, this dolphin represents change. Okay, stay calm. 
keep your emotions calm like the water is calm here everything's going to balance out there's like everything is connected everything happens for a reason with this rainbow you know there's a ship coming in do you see that and your intuition is going to tell you when to turn around and see it when it pulls into shore okay so something good is coming for you sometimes you just might have to kiss a couple more toads before it shows up now for some of you when the next full moon comes you'll already have that person um for others of you you won't okay i would say 11 percent of you by the time the full moon comes that person might show up for you okay but for the rest of you maybe not so anyway here's the point stop putting walls up stop trying to protect yourself from getting hurt because people do what they do okay and you're not really protecting anything you have to be open to receive love um, for the right person for that life partner to come through for you so you know what else is there that you need to take action on and they're saying what's hiding here is that you actually don't have any more these sort of um, bad habits you've changed the way that you think about things you've noticed patterns you've decided you want something different you know if you've had experience with toxic partners in the past that's not going to pop up for you anymore and so they're saying um that's that's like a hidden little blessing here you know so if you come into co into contact with that liar manipulator cheater person it's not because you attracted it is what i'm trying to say it's because they're just like an asshole you came in contact with anyway um, what do you need to take action on? If you haven't really changed, um, switched it up, <laughs> what you usually go after, what you're usually into, um, then they're saying, you know, now's the time. And so for some of you, this is also changing up your approach to dating. So maybe I'll, maybe some of you pre-coronavirus were like, I'm not going to do the online thing. And then um, maybe you live in a state that isn't opening up on June 1st. And so now it's time to like think about that. Or um, maybe you are really into the idea of social distancing for a long time, and so you're going to have to get comfortable with doing Zoom dates or something like that. No matter what, however, I mean, this is gonna, that's a problem with um, general readings for like an entire group, is that I can't be as specific. It's going to play out differently for all of you. You all have different situations, but for the majority of Libras, they're like, change the way, change your approach a little bit, okay? So, um, I mean, the right person is coming for you. That's the good thing. But it's kind of coming out of nowhere from behind you if you remain calm and you remain open. Okay. So for a couple Libras, what do you need to let go of this month? And they're like this pretty picture perfect idea that you have of like what family is. Yes, it is that way sometimes. Okay. But it's okay if it doesn't always look that way from the outside. Sometimes, um, you know, our flaws are actually our quirks and it what it's what makes us relatable or, um, you know, whatever. So that's what they're saying. Not everything has to be perfect 100% of the time in your family life. Like if you're stressing out that you don't have time to work and clean and cook and, you know, be the best mom ever and like, you know, whatever. They're just saying, let go of that idea, okay? Let go of the idea that everything needs to look a certain way. Now, what is it that you're attracting into your relationship with your partner? And they're saying um, things that are out of the ordinary, an untraditional type of, um, like a new way of doing things, not doing things the same way that you used to in the relationship. And so that's fantastic because the previous card was like let go of this idea of how you think things should be or how they should look because positive changes come as a result and so they're saying everything's going to be fine okay and just like libra singles had a ship is coming in for you something really wonderful is coming for you if you can stay calm and go with the flow and let things change in your relationship a little bit um but i feel like for a lot of you this is more like it's not really changes within the relationship it's more changes within the um the home so for example this could be you and your partner moving in together this could be um a family where mom stops cooking and dad takes over you know um 
It could be rearranging the house. It could be painting it hot pink, something crazy in the neighborhood. It could be anything. Um, but that's the point. It's like, Let's do things a little bit differently than the way we've always done them. And for a lot of you, this is going to be about delegating tasks. You know, I'm going to start giving my children chores, <laughs> you know, things like that. Um, so what's outside of your control this month in your relationship? And they're like, these changes have to happen. So, it, you know, it's going to feel better for you if you can just kind of stay calm and understand that there's a reward for you, even though you might not be super comfortable to change straight out the gate. Um, what do you need to take action on? And they're just like, you know, all these changes and all this stuff that they're saying and like, don't worry about how things look from the outside. It's because it's starting to dim your inner light. OK, and the reason why this is popping up in um, the love reading instead of in the general reading for you is because it's starting to therefore affect your intimate relationship like you're not feeling sexy you're not feeling joyful so your relationship is not going to be as deeply intimate on the emotional le level but even worse it's not going to be nearly as sexy this could be a very sexless month for you if you don't figure out how to do that and how to put yourself first more this month is going to be all about and remember the month goes you know from now whenever you're watching this until the 15th of june so if you don't put yourself first and really honor you and do what's good for you you know taking the time for self-care to like you know eat well get enough sleep exercise whatever it is that feels good for yourself then there's not going to be that passion that desire like even if you think that you're going to be horny your partner might not be into you as much they might not um you might not be as much of a magnet for them okay so that's that would be annoying, right? <laughs> okay, so moving on to those in complicated situations. What do you need to let go of? This idea that you have bad luck in relationships. They're like, a lot of you are having a really hard time letting go of that. And for some of you, the reason why is because you're still learning something. You're still in a cycle that hasn't completed yet. So as much as you want to move past that idea, it's gonna be <laughs> real tough. Um, but that's what you should be letting go of. It's a mindset, okay? Now, what is it that you're attracting? And they're saying, well, you're attracting um, some slowness, actually. It's like delays, things taking their sweet ass time. But the positive side of that is that then they're very reliable. You know, you can slap something together, build a tower really fast. But if we don't take time to sit with an architect, it's going to be maybe not very structurally sound, right? So that's what they're saying here. It's, it's okay. You should be taking things slow. And um, actually, they say make a wish right now. Um, I got a number message that was 1111. And it's like, make a wish. Think about what you want because you can have it. But you have to be patient and you have to allow it to take the time that it takes. Okay. So what's outside of your control? And they're saying you already know what that is. That's individual for every person. You know what's going on in your life. Um, interestingly, though... They threw some stuff here on the floor that they want to say sidebar, okay? Now they're saying, for those of you who are kind of more coupled right now, like not necessarily on again, off again, I'm on a break right now, I'm kind of on right now, or I'm in a polyamorous situation, they're saying um, you're not giving enough love in the way that whoever you're involved with needs to receive it. And they need to receive it by um, acts of service of some sort, you know, so taking time to give them a back rub or to cook dinner or something like that. They're saying your intuition will tell you exactly what to do, but whatever you invest in um, acts of service type of situation, you're going to get back six to 10 times what, you know, your investment of that time and energy, like they're going to pay you back um, with you know, you invest a lot of time, they're going to give you time later. You invest a lot of love into something, they're going to do the same for you later at an even higher rate and amount, which you kind of need. Um, Libras sometimes give too much, you know, and then we don't feel super comfortable taking. And so this would be a good time to do that. Um, they're saying, you know, and then after that, you're going to be taking a lot of information and knowledge that you have, okay? and just kind of moving towards calmer times. It's like you're leaving a space that's maybe a little chaotic and unpredictable and you slowly but surely, you know, sailing on 
to things being really peaceful for you. And so um, what they're saying is a big challenge is coming up for those who are trying to determine right now, are we getting a divorce or aren't we? And what they're saying is focus on the positives, okay? And one of the positives is that if you're not, I mean, here's the thing. People are always like, oh, well, maybe we should stay together because of the kids or, you know, I invested a lot of time and energy into this relationship. I put 10 years in, like, I don't just want to walk away now. But they're saying, look, for those of you who are at that point, that person's not your forever person. They're not your soulmate. So the positive side of things is if you walk away from that that just gives you more time to find the right one because that right one is out there and for like two or three people in this situation you might actually find it like in the next seven days so that would be really cool right i mean that would be a positive so just decide what you want to (laughs) do focus on the positives of where whichever side you're leaning towards and then just go okay love you so much i'll see you next month 